This week, I'll give you some tips for working with models. Adorama TV presents Digital Photography One-on-One, -on -one, where we answer your questions. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Digital Photography One-on-One. -on -one. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, we've got a question from Jan in the Czech Republic. I would really love to see an episode about working with models. I think it would be great if you would show some behind the scenes video of how an average photo shoot looks from start to finish. Well, Jan, thanks for the question. In fact, lots of people have been writing in asking about working with models. Now, I don't know what an average photo shoot is. There's so many different types of photo shoots. So what I'm gonna concentrate on in this video is working with a model that's hired you to shoot a portfolio, uh, something like that. And so specifically, we're not gonna talk about lighting. We're not gonna talk about metering or any camera settings. We're not gonna talk about any of that stuff. What we're gonna talk about is what you do before the shoot, what you do during the shoot, and what you do after the shoot as it pertains to working with a model. And so let's talk about what we do before the shoot starts. When your model arrives, make sure you give him or her a warm greeting. The point of the pre-shoot talk is to make sure you put your model at ease and answer any questions and make sure everybody is on the same page. So we've actually been having a conversation through email, and so we've got this email here, and we're looking at this to make sure that what Cam has sent me in the conversation we had through email, we both understand, because sometimes things can get uh, a little messed up in email, where somebody will say one thing and you think something else. So we've got these, these are our preferences. Some people actually have a preferences worksheet that says, you know, I want headshots, or I want some nice uh, full length fashion shots, or whatever it is I want, and that way you know exactly what you're shooting. So we have that there. Now the other thing that we have here uh, that we want to work through, and this is a model release. And so what we're going to do is uh, clarify this model release. So uh, before we start shooting, Cam and I are going to read through this entire thing so that there are no questions about exactly what she's signing. And then at the end of the shoot, that's when she'll sign it. Now the reason that you sign this at the end of the shoot is on most model releases it says something like, I wasn't forced to do something I didn't want to do. So you can't sign that before you shoot because then you, can't, you don't know if you've actually been forced to do something. So you sign that at the end. One of the best places to get model releases is through the Professional Photographers of America. Simply go to ppa.com and then click on Resources and then scroll down to Contracts and Forms. Now you'll need to be a member of PPA, but that's one of the main advantages of joining is that you always have up-to-date model releases. The other thing we have here are a bunch of sample photos um, so we can choose from those. Now these are some photos that are in magazines and some that have been printed out off the web. And so uh, these are some ideas that Cam had that said, hey, these I like, maybe we can shoot something like this. And so the sample photos along with the email and the conversations you have before the shoot sort of establish exactly what you're gonna be shooting. So we're gonna go through all of this stuff and then once we're done with that, then we're gonna lay out our wardrobe next. All right, well, Cam and I just spent uh, a few minutes and we went over some sample photos. Uh, we went over, we actually pulled out some pictures uh, from my website and we found one that we really liked and we're gonna use that for a starting point and inspiration point. So uh, we spent some time to really clarify what type of photos that we're gonna be shooting today. And so one of the things that you have to do right at the front is to make sure there are no questions. And so Cam, any questions? None at all, okay, great. So we know exactly what we're gonna shoot. We know the style of stuff. We made sure that we went over the model release so that uh, she understood exactly what she's signing. We're gonna put that aside. The next thing we need to do though is, now that we know exactly what we're shooting, we know we need about two to three different looks of wardrobe. And so we're gonna go through the stuff that camera brought and we're gonna match those as far as colors and looks and to the style of photo that we're taking. And so to make that simple, we're gonna lay that all out on this table right here. So we're gonna do that next. All right, so Cam and I just finished going through uh, looking at her wardrobe and what we did is we have a starting point. Now, the important thing to understand is this: these are just the options that we're starting with. So this is our first set right here, first wardrobe with an option of maybe a jean jacket there. And we also, maybe these jeans don't work, so we also have some options over there. So this is, again, it's just a starting point uh, to shoot. So that's the first set. Second set, we have this dress right here. Third set, we have this dress. And then I love this, so we have this as an alternate as well. So basically what we're gonna do is we'll have Kama put on uh, one of her dresses or uh, outfit, 
and then if we find that it just doesn't work as far as the color or the contrast or something, then we'll have her switch over to something else that we have as an alternate. And then since we've already looked through the other things that she brought, uh, if something comes up, we're like, oh, do you have a whatever blazer? We know that she does or doesn't, and so that can help us as well. But these are our four choices, and so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hop into the studio, and then we're going to go uh, on and start shooting there. Okay, well, Kama is getting ready right now. She's putting on her outfit. And so in the meantime, there's one thing I forgot to mention before, and that is before a shoot, you need to make sure that you have music ready. So one of the things that uh, I encourage you to do with any model or any photo shoot is make sure that you ask your client what kind of music they like. So as you're shooting, music is playing. So I have a big, huge iTunes library here, and we're always using it. And then if I don't have music that somebody likes, well, I then buy it and add more to my library. So camera's just about uh, ready. So we're going to put on the music and start shooting. So let's review. Before the shoot, make sure you put your model at ease. To do this, make sure you clarify the shoot, review the shooting preferences of your model, review any sample photos, and make sure you answer any outstanding questions. Once that's done, make sure you review and choose the wardrobe for the shoot. Now I like to lay the wardrobe out in sets and always make sure you have music ready. All right, now we're shooting, and one of the things that I noticed is I'd like uh, Kama to be moving in a way that she wasn't. And so one of the things that you do not want to do if you're a guy is touch a female model. So you don't want to like grab a model and move them around because that's really freaky and it's inappropriate. So don't do that. One of the things you can do though is to show your model what you want them to do. And so it can be ridiculous sometimes and sort of funny, but that's what I was just doing. So I came out here and I said, you know, stand this way and twist this way and move this way. Um, and you just have to be willing to do that and sort of make a, a fool out of yourself because it really helps the model understand exactly what you're trying to do. Now once you uh, have your model where you want them and help them pose, that as you're shooting, you really need to make sure that you're communicating. So watch as I shoot how I'm communicating with Kama, because what I don't want to do is take a shot and then say nothing. What I want to do is constantly be communicating, saying, yes, that's great, turn this way, that's good, smile, excellent, we got it, and this, whatever it is, but always make sure you have some kind of verbal connection with your model, because you don't want them to think, uh, is this right, what's going on, and it's just the worst. So if you're silent, you can uh, bet that your model is at very uncomfortable because they don't really know what you're thinking. So always communicate, even if it feels like you're communicating too much. Beautiful, just like that. Twist your shoulders a little bit toward me. Yep, there you go, just like that. A little bit more toward me, there you go. And then leave your hips though. So your hips toward the light, beautiful, beautiful. There you go, give me a little bit of smile. Excellent, excellent, good, I love it. Sometimes I like to show the model the pictures right on the back of the camera so I can communicate more effectively. I'm gonna get this way, there we go. This is just a headshot, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Hold that right there, excellent. I love that, excellent. I'm just gonna get a couple more shots. Good, good, good. Um, let me move this just a bit, I'd love that. Yeah, come back to me just a little bit with your hips. There you go, good, good. Beautiful, I love that, yeah, there you go. Good, okay. Good. Well, these are fun. Um, let's move this light around to the front just a little bit more. Love it. Okay, one more. There we go. Oh, I love the hair. Good, good, good. Good. Okay. All right, one other thing that I like to do when I'm working with a model is to make sure that I'm showing them what we're doing during the shoot because we don't want Cam to be like, oh, is that good or bad? So it's good to show on the back of the camera, but in addition to that, I like to actually bring photos into Lightroom and then as we're shooting, we can bring in each set and then we can go through and mark our favorites and say these are the ones that we like. So then in post-production, instead of having to go through everything from uh, fresh, we can go in and just say, okay, let's just look at the ones that we know that we like and then make selections from there. So it's just a little time saver. Now I know a lot of people don't like to do that. They have this uh, model that's never show the model anything, but I think that's nuts because I think that just builds confidence for a model to know exactly what they look like while you're shooting. So I like to show them. So uh, we actually like these. We found some great light. Camera changed into her second outfit. And so now we're gonna start shooting our second set.
All right, well, Cam and I just finished our uh, shoot, and there are a few things we still need to do before we're done. The first thing we're doing here is we're looking through all of the photos that we shot today, and specifically just the ones that we tagged as uh, winners. So we're looking through these and saying, you know, oh yeah, this is good. And really, we're just sort of a, a review of the day to make sure that we got everything that we needed, because if there was anything that we agreed to before the shoot, and we look through these and go, oh wait, we were supposed to get X, Y, Z, we would know it. So we're going to look through these a little bit. Now we've already done that. We've already marked our winners. And so again, I've got all my uh, winners in Lightroom for later when I do my post processing, I can send those over and uh, Cam will have those. Now there's a couple other things we need to do. So we have the model release. So Cam needs to sign that. So here you go. Fill that out. Now it depends on what kind of shoot this is. And so let's say that Cama came to me and she needed uh, sh uh, some photos for her portfolio. Well, then she would be paying me. And so at this point, this is where I'm going to actually say, you need to give me some money. <laughs> but this is a different shoot because Cama is here helping us out with our video today. And so we actually have to pay her because we hired her. So I have my checkbook out. And I'm going to write her a check. And so that is when we pay is during the model release. And so what we normally do is we don't, uh, we make sure the model release and the check uh, go together so we don't forget either one. Well, there you have it. The before, during, and after the photo shoot. Now, one of the things that is important to note is that every photographer does this a little bit differently. And uh, the thing that's consistent from the photographers that I know is to communicate, communicate, communicate. So before the shoot, make sure you know what you're doing. During the shoot, communicate with the model. And after the shoot, make sure you know what you're going to be delivering and when and make sure all the finances are done. The basic thing is no surprises. Make sure that everybody knows what's happening. Now, one of the other questions that people have been sending in quite a bit, and that is, where do you find models? Now, that is something that uh, depends really on where you live. One of the most popular places to find models is a website called Model Mayhem. And Model Mayhem has beginners and very advanced uh, models, experienced models. You can also go to your local modeling agency or you can just uh, get a cousin or a friend or a sister or a wife or a friend. It doesn't matter. Models are just about everywhere. But if you're just starting out, check out Model Mayhem. Well, thanks, Jan, so much for the question. Remember, if you're like Jan and you have a question about photography or photography gear, you can send your questions to me at askmark at adorama.com. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. And so it can be ridiculous sometimes and sort of funny, but that's what I was just doing. So I came out here and I said, you know, stand this way and twist this way and move this way. Stand this way and twist this way and move this way and shot, shot. Stand this way and twist this way and move this way and shot, shot. Stand this way and twist this way and move this way and shot, shot. Stand this way and twist this way and move this way and shot. Digital photography one-on-one -on -one is written and produced by Snap Factory. For more information about our workshops, visit snapfactory.com.